Yay! Welcome to another tutorial. So, you want to make a .exe video, there's a few things you're going to need. You're going to need an editing software. DaVinci Resolve is the best free one for making any type of video you want. And if you want to use a paid one, I recommend Premiere Pro. I'm going to be using it in this video. And if you want it, use my link in the description, shameless plug. And the next thing you're going to need is to record your footage. You can use Bandicam, OBS, Xbox Overlay, Shadowplay, doesn't matter to me, just make sure you have your footage once you're done recording. Next, open a project in Premiere Pro. Then, you're going to drag your clips into this box and then we're gonna cut it so if you click C you're gonna get the razor tool and a nice thing I like to do with EXEs is making sure I have lots of fast-paced kills after another okay I have this minion right here he's gonna get executed so I'm gonna find where I actually kill the minion so right here that's when he dies so I'm gonna go a few seconds by dragging the blue thing I forgot to mention that drag the blue bar or you can click spacebar to watch the video or use the arrow keys to go one by one so i'm just going to drag the blue bar a little bit before i get the kill and then i'm going to click c to cut right here and then i'm going to go a few frames forward not a few frames a few seconds forward after i get the kill on the minion then i'm just going to cut it then i'm going to go to the next minion right here and then i'm just going to do the same thing i'm going to cut before i kill the minion before i shoot the first shot and then once the minion's dead i'm going to click c and then i'm going to cut it now we have two clips right and then we're going to see this dead space in between each kill so you're gonna click v on your keyboard right this is gonna give you your little mouse guy back and then you're just gonna drag with your left mouse with the left click you're gonna drag or you can just click on it and then click delete now that's gone so now you can drag the second minion kill over to the first one like this or you can right click and then ripple delete doesn't matter to me which one you like and then just do that for the rest of the video make sure to have kills and funny parts that's really all you need for an exe and then we're gonna need some music so go on youtube find some high dopamine music that you would listen to in the gym and then just drag it in make sure it's not copyrighted because if you want to make money on youtube you're gonna need uncopyrighted music so now that it's under your video that's really it you got to do with music you can sync it to your video by just every time you hear a beat you click m and then you sync it to when the minion dies that's really it so now we're gonna need some memes because exes need memes so you can go on youtube find some meme sound effects screen screens and then download them using the 4k video downloader application which takes a lot of time or you can join my discord link in the description where you can find some channels with resources with everything you need that are constantly updating and once you've gathered all the sound effects you know all the green screens memes all that you're gonna want to probably organize them so you can find the videos and memes later on one more thing before we start adding the memes is we got to know the three principles right and these are really simple the first one is have an introduction i don't care what it is you need an intro for a .exe for an example it could be you finding out an, about an event for your game and then you boot up the game and then you're like ooh that's super cool new event or something like that and you can then just have like super fast paced moves throughout the video the next one which is far by the most important rule of .exe videos which is the rule of three second visual stimulus basically something has to happen on the screen every three seconds it could be a zoom in a new meme a harsh cut a transition anything finally is sounds if it doesn't have a sound and you think it should have a sound add it like let's say you're jumping over a wall it doesn't have a sound add a sound a mouse click add a mouse click sound effect you can actually find the mouse click sound effect in the discord but whatever now you know the principles of making a .exe so let's go actually make one so hop back in premiere pro and just drag the file where your memes are into this little box right here it's called like your media browser or something like that and then you're gonna see whatever you name that folder it's gonna have a bunch of your memes in it let's say we want to animate a like a video sliding right so you're just gonna go into the effects panel or up here and if you don't see it you're gonna go in window and then you're gonna see effects and then just make sure it has a check mark on it and then it's gonna pop up somewhere on your screen so go into effects search up transform you're gonna drag it onto your whatever you're animating right and then once it's dragged you're gonna notice it FX thing probably turned purple if it didn't it doesn't matter go into effects controls and then scroll down till you see transform then scroll down a little bit more till you see shutter angle turn that to 360 that's going to be adding the ai motion blur that is super cool and lovely so now for animating right i want to have a sliding meme so i'm going to go to the first frame of the video by dragging the blue guy up here all the way to the far left where he's like hit the border this is going to make you at the start of the clip then you're going to see this stopwatch by position position is just changing the the place of where the video is on the screen 
So I'm gonna click position, right? And then you're gonna notice it plays like a diamond kind of thing. A diamond is basically a keyframe. It's just gonna tell the computer where the video needs to be at that exact frame. So now you have two position values, 960 and 540. 960 changes the left and right, 540 changes up and down. Anything under 540 will go up, anything under 540 will go down. So I wanna drag it down. So we're just gonna go to like a thousand or something like that right a little bit more actually than a thousand and then since i want to have it slide up i'm just going to go a few frames forward now i'm going to click this diamond thing by this like recycle symbol i don't even know and now this is going to place a new keyframe so now the new keyframe is going to give the computer a new place where that video has to be so now i'm just going to drag the video all the way back up to where i want it to be and now most people would be like this is done i like it whatever but I'm gonna show you a little secret that makes the video so much better and nobody talks about it. So you're gonna see the stopwatch, right? The blue stopwatch. And you're gonna see this arrow pointing at it. Click on it. Now the arrow's pointing down. And then you're gonna see your keyframes. There's a little thing under it, right? This like kind of box type thing. This is called the velocity editor, I'd say. So we're gonna go to the last keyframe, right? And then we're just gonna drag it down, this like draggable thing. We're gonna drag it down and then to the left. Now it made a ramp. Basically, all you need to know is the higher the ramp is, the faster the animation's gonna be going. The lower the ramp is, the slower. So notice how it's like super high and then it ramps, goes down really fast. That's basically gonna make it super fast and then it slows down. And that makes the animation so much smoother. Okay, sound effects. I actually love sound effects. They make my videos nice and juicy. So sound effects are pretty simple. You already know. How to do this just drag it onto your timeline it's not gonna have a video because it's a sound and then you're gonna notice it has a bunch of dead space right and if you don't want the dead space just cut it out and then click v again and then delete the edges that you don't want just trim it up and then just drag the sound effect wherever you want and now we have the sound effect right it's nice and juicy so next up is green screening this is like a big boy in the exe niche so all you really got to do with this is go into effects and search up key and then scroll down until you see ultra key, drag that on your green screen video, and then go into effects controls, scroll down until you see ultra key. And then you're gonna see key color, right? And then you're gonna see this eyedropper by this black box, click on it. Now you're gonna grab the eyedropper and then you're gonna just click on the green screen and the green screen should be gone. And that's basically how you do it. And there's one more effect that I see in EXEs and that's the text tool. So you're just going to click T on your keyboard, then you're going to click on the display right here, and then you're just going to type whatever you want like that. You're going to click V, and then now you can just scale it up, you can move it around. If you hold control, it centers text, it gives you like kind of like a center point that you can use, like a guide. And then to edit the text to make it look nice, you're going to go in effects controls, you're going to find this like text thing, and then you can change the font over here, then you can scroll down. And you're gonna see appearance fill is the text of the color stroke is kind of like an outline background makes a background and then shadow adds a drop shadow and that's all you really know and you can just change the colors if you want with shadow i always recommend to make it as black as you can it makes the shadow look more natural i would say so boom you just learned everything you need to know from the xc video so go go make your exe video right now you just learned all the principles and if you forget something you can always come back so goodbye, click on this video if you want to know a little bit more in-depth tips on editing in general, so goodbye. Whoa, whoa.